we have literally picked the hottest time to come outside and make this video and if you don't know i live in thailand in Koh Phangan specifically and man that sun is absolutely beaming and i got so much sun yesterday so i've got a little bit of sunburn here and there but mostly got a good tan going on so yeah now onto the topic of the video so a lot of people wonder when they get into intermittent fasting how long should they ideally intermittent fast for so if you're someone that wonders this question and you'd like to hear from someone such as myself who has over two years worth of experience with daily intermittent fasting then make sure you watch this video from start to finish and there is a very simple answer to this question. It depends on your body goals or what some people would call their physique goals. So what are the two different things that come under this category? Are you looking to lose weight or are you looking to gain muscle? And obviously when I say losing weight, I mean burning excess body fat. And yes, you may be thinking quite a few people will do. So I'm going to answer this quickly is yes, you can lose fat with intermittent fasting and gain muscle. But if you want to optimize muscle growth or fat loss with intermittent fasting then you want to focus on one or the other because i'm telling you now there is no way at all that you can optimize the fat loss benefits from intermittent fasting and optimize muscle growth at the same time as well so i'm first going to focus upon in detail what length of time that you would want to intermittent fast for every single day to optimize fat loss and I've talked about this many times in many other videos before, but you may have not watched some of my content and I'm gonna talk about some additional things that I haven't mentioned in other videos before. So, it's very, very simple. If you wanna optimize weight loss, the longer that you are in the fasted state, the greater the weight loss benefits are going to be. Because it's proven through scientific research, the longer you fast, the lower insulin goes. And what is insulin known as? The fat storage hormone so that is obviously a really good thing to be keeping induced within your body as long as possible and then because you are taking in no food sources whatsoever your body will tap in to the excess body fat that you have and burn it as fuel and again the longer you're fasting for the longer it's going to be in that fat burning a mode and there is a few other different reasons as well but they are the main two reasons so what i would recommend to the majority of people that want to optimize weight loss is do one meal a day where you fast for around 23 hours a day and eat for around a one hour window and if you want to learn how to eat one meal a day in the most safe and effective way then what i do is put a link for a video up above where i talk about that in great detail in that video that has over half a million views and i'm someone that has had over seven months worth of experience with one meal a day in the past and I've coached many different people on this and I've seen time and time again it is definitely by far the best intermittent fasting diet to lose weight that is sustainable because yes there is certain people out there such as Cole from the snake diet that promotes people eat once every 48 hours but for most people that's just not sustainable whatsoever so i'm about sharing things with people that's going to give you amazing results that you can sustain over a long period of time so then you can actually get the greatest weight loss benefits possible but something i want to mention and this is something you need to take into consideration not everyone finds it easy just to go from standard eating to eating one meal a day what i find for a lot of people it's better to ease themselves into it and start with like the 16 8 intermittent fasting diet where you fast around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window and then over a period of time you increase the length that you fast for so you could go from like 16 hours to 17 hours and then 18 19 reduce the eating we know from eight to six to five and so forth and by doing that gradually over a period of time it's going to be a lot more easier for a lot of people to achieve this rather than just switch completely overnight to one meal a day and fast around 23 hours a day and eat for around a one hour window. So that is just something to be aware of. And if you're someone that wants to learn of many other different ways that you can optimize weight loss whilst intermittent fasting, I have a video that talks about many different things that come under what I've just mentioned. And I'll put a link for that video up above and if you're interested in that, you can check it out now. Okay, so now onto people that want to optimize muscle growth. One meal a day is a bad, bad idea. What you actually want to do is have a way longer eating window and a shorter fasting window. And there's very good reasons as to why. And yes, with one minute a day, you can gain 
muscle. I've done this before whilst eating one meal a day, but it's not going to optimize muscle growth whatsoever. Don't believe anyone that tells you that, it's just complete misinformation. So whilst you're in the fasted state, an effect known as autophagy is activated. And when autophagy is high, M tor is low and if you don't know what mTOR stands for it's a mammalian target of rapomycin and this regulates protein synthesis and cell growth and does a whole host of other things as well so you want this to be activated and be very high when does this go high when you eat adequate amounts of calories and protein so you do not want to be fasting as long as possible for obvious reasons so by opening up your eating window and say fasting for around 16 hours a day and doing the 16 8 diet where you eat for around eight hour a window you're going to have mTOR levels way way higher for a longer period throughout the day which then is going to optimize muscle growth and also there's another factor when you consume protein and only protein can do this it is going to give you optimal nitrogen balance which is key for optimizing muscle growth as well and no this cannot be achieved whilst in the fasted state whatsoever and if you're someone that watches pro bodybuilders which i am really into them you can just see that they all normally eat like five to six meals a day and there's very good reasons as to why but it's not the best for their health because it's creating a lot of waste within the body and there's scientific research to show like bodybuilders life expectancy is shortened by about 30 percent because they're just having mTOR activated so much and it's creating all of these byproducts of waste within the body they're not inducing autophagy which is self cannibalism within the body with the eat up all of those and recycle cells that are not functioning so well and other certain things which is key for optimizing your longevity and health holistically so if you're someone that wants to learn about how to do the 16 8 intermittent fasting method i put a link for it up above and yes it says for serious weight loss but it can be done for muscle gains as well the difference is is if you're someone that wants to optimize weight loss even if it's with one meal a day the 16 8 intermittent fasting diet any other diet out there for those people that want to optimize weight loss you want to be in a calorie deficit and for people that want to optimize muscle growth you want to be in a calorie surplus which if you don't know about that you can do some more research up into that online Oh, and something I'd like to mention because I'm sure someone in the comment section is going to mention this is yes, you do have your human growth hormone levels go up massively in the fasted state and testosterone production, which those hormones are key for optimizing muscle growth. But even though they're going on, mTOR's not being activated, and you're not getting the optimal nitrogen balance due to not consuming calories and protein whilst in the fasted state. So what I would say is, say you're someone that's got absolutely no muscle mass and you started doing one meal a day and your hormone production was not optimal, yes, you're more than likely gonna start to gain some muscle mass, but you're not gonna reach your full genetic potential. So yeah, just think about your goals and follow what I have mentioned and I'm telling you, it will definitely help you get the body type that you desire. And one last thing I mentioned, if you're someone that really wants to take it one step further, I recommend doing daily intermittent fasting. This is only for people with weight loss. Do one meal a day, and then you could do like longer fasts, so multiple day fasts in a row. And if you want to learn more information about that, I'll talk about it in another video, I'm not gonna talk about it in this one. And you can click the video link up above and check that out now if it interests you. And last but not least, before I end the video, I have many different videos talking about intermittent fasting and one meal a day that you can search up on my YouTube channel. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this with other people that you think need to hear about what I shared with you today in connection to how long you need to fast with intermittent fasting to get the results that you desire. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. I have many videos on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, dry fasting, calisthenics, calisthenics workout progression videos, what I eat and doing a day videos, and many other different videos to teach you so much valuable, effective information that can help you go in direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels that I've managed to, and many other people that follow my information consistently over time to get those results and many other amazing ones as well. So if this sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and that you click the bell notification button, click the subscribe button. Otherwise, you will not be notified of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming 
almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.